Welcome to World in Two Minutes. These are your headlines. Clashes in Aleppo have reportedly killed at least 31 people. Activists and monitoring groups say several rebel groups and the YPG, the Syrian affiliate of the outlawed PKK, are fighting over the Sheikh Maksud neighbourhood. Meanwhile, Turkish media report that the Turkish military has fired back on Daesh targets in northern Syria. It was in retaliation for a cross-border artillery attack that hit the town of Kilis. Two rockets were fired, one of them exploding near a school, injuring at least two people. The world's biggest data leak has revealed that eight members of China's Communist Party held offshore companies, including President Xi Jinping's brother-in-law. But the Panama Papers don't show that politicians have benefited unduly. The global fallout from the leak continues in Iceland, where the governing coalition has called for an early election after Sigmund or David Gunlawson resigned on Tuesday. The leak revealed his wife owned a secret offshore company that held a stake in Iceland's bank. Former Agriculture Minister Sigurdor Ingi Johansson has replaced him. Bangladeshi police say a liberal blogger was murdered on his way home from Jagannath University on Wednesday night. At least three attackers accosted Nazimuddin Samad with machetes and shot him as he fell to the ground. Hundreds of student protesters blocked roads around the university. The students said had killers of other blogs been properly penalised, Samad would not have been attacked. In 2015, at least five secular writers and a publisher were killed by militants. President Nicolas Maduro has announced that all Fridays for the next two months will be holidays. He says this will help with a hydroelectricity shortage. Venezuela is suffering from a severe drought, but the opposition argues that Maduro's plan will only make the recession and shortages of basic goods worse. Thanks for watching. TRTWorld.com, Istanbul.